Welcome back. Let's go to Rhiannon in Sabbatus, Maine. Hi, Rhiannon. I'm 43. Um, I didn't know who Jesus was until I was 35. I don't want to get into a lot of things because I know young people listen to your your, your show. Um, but my mother was a lesbian. She did a, a, a raiment of things. She did, made bad choices. I don't want to get into all that. You know, she's in heaven now. I, you know, I pray through mercy. And my point being is that no one told me who Jesus was, but these two strangers one day, and they were Pentecostals. That's how I came into the church. But that's another long story. Point okay. being, had I not had a mom who'd been through what she'd been through, had I not been abused many different ways, had I not been married a bunch of times, had I not had to go through annulments before I got baptized, all these things, I wouldn't be able to help anybody else. And I've had a really long battle, but I know now it wasn't my battle to be had. It's his battle. And so when people call and they question you, I I always think you do a great job, Patrick. And I know you deal with a lot of things. And I like how you call the scripture out. So it calls out those things to to help people. And for those out there listening, pray. Because someone prayed for my soul, and that's the reason I'm calling you today. And I think that we all only can think, when we grab this in our own human terms, open the Bible, kiss it, and say, Holy Spirit, reveal to me your word. And he will mm-hmm. speak to you. And like the kind of life, I didn't know who God was. I was open to all these terrible things that I went through, mm-hmm. but he always protected me. And now I can see, you know, at the time I couldn't see and I began to see. And when it happened, now I can see. Does that make sense? And I it hope that's kind of helpful. And maybe bring some peace, peace, you know? Makes a so lot of sense. That's why we, these scars we have on our souls, our bodies, emotions, all of that are the scars of Christ. And whatever goodness comes from those scars is how we touch other people. And Jesus, had he not come to me as a broken servant, I would have just thought he was somebody else in the world. Mm-hmm. And I guess how did, his, how did Jesus find you? How did you find Jesus? What, was, what happened? Well, my mom, like I said, was a lesbian. She was also, unfortunately, a drug dealer. Um, it's hard. And my father wasn't around, so mm-hmm. I went through a lot of things. And... Um, what happened was I was at a point in my life. Is I remember it was me, and I also had an abortion, and I've gone to Rachel's Vineyard, so I've, been, I've done that mm-hmm. part of the healing. Okay. But in May of 2013, I had just gone through a very abusive relationship. Unfortunately, I went back into it, but that's another story for a different time, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I said, you know, if something's greater than myself, I've got this one flick of light left. Not that I was going to commit suicide, but I did have a daughter at the time, and I was going to take her and go find a cabin in the woods and just work and go home mm-hmm. and just be, because the world was so heinous to me. And just that moment of me recognizing that small bit of grace that the Lord placed in this little mustard seed, right? That mm-hmm. small, that was his way in, I think. I feel that. I know that. Mm-hmm. Because that was when I was able to realize within myself I got myself through college. I gotten myself a good job. I've gotten myself a house. I've gotten myself married. I've gone on, you know, it never filled. There was always something in my soul that was still thirsting and broken. Mm-hmm. And until I was able to let go in some spiritual way, which I didn't understand at the time, but now looking back, the Lord has provided grace. I can see that, you know, that's where the, it came. And Rhiannon, yes, I think your, you, Patrick. your story is thank really you. powerful, and I only know a little bit of it. And the people who heard it just now, the little bit that we did hear, I'm sure are moved them. by it. All right. Well, God bless you, Patrick, and all of your people there. Thank you. Thanks. Call again, Rhiannon. Fascinating conversation. And what a powerful story. Hmm. For more of The Patrick Madrid Show, visit RelevantRadio.com slash Patrick.